It's, you can declassify just by saying um, it's declassified, even by thinking about it. So uh, some pretty major news hit last night with former President Donald Trump finally revealing his long hidden superpower that he can, in fact, declassify top secret documents with his mind. A president has the power to declassify. Correct. Okay. You had said on Truth Social a number of times you did de declassify. I did declassify, yes. Okay. W is there a process? What was your process to declassify? It doesn't have to be a process, as no. I understand it. it. You know, there's different people say different right. things, but as I understand, there doesn't have to be. If you're the president of the United States, you can declassify just by saying um, it's declassified, even by thinking about it. Ah, uh, yes, of course. <laughs> just by thinking about it. I think it went something like this. You are now declassified. So dumb. So I'm going to break this down. I'm also going to get to another clip because he goes on to say some more ridiculous shit shortly. And I'm going to get a little silly at the end of this video, all right? Uh, I'm not sure if you're prepared for it, but if you are, come with me to, to the end of this video. But first, let's get to this shit, <laughs> all right? So this is over, of course, the 11,000 government records that Trump brought to Mar-a-Lago, you know, just for kicks. It's still unclear as to, you know, his motive here, whether he was trying to sell some of these top secret documents, whether he was maybe using it. Uh, Michael Cohen floated this. He was potentially using this as a way to try and make a deal if he faced if he faces any criminal charges as a way to, I guess, in Trump's mind, hey, I have these secret documents. I'm going to sell them unless you make this deal with me. I mean, who knows? But regardless, he had them and he was not supposed to have them. So the FBI last month seized roughly 11,000 documents, including about 100 with classification markings during a court authorized search of the Palm Beach Club. It has launched a criminal investigation into whether the records were mishandled or compromised. It is not clear whether Trump or anyone else will be charged. And just a recent update on this, court lifts hold on classified records seized from our logo, meaning the move clears the way for the Justice Department to assess whether criminal charges against Trump are warranted. Now, in terms of the actual declassification process, yes, there is a process. So can a president declassify information? Yes, the president has the authority to declassify information. Typically, there is a process for doing that, according to uh, Ali. It includes communicating with the cabinet or agency head from which the information originated to ensure that declassifying it poses no risk to national security. Trump's team has publicly said that he declassified all of the documents found in Florida before leaving the White House, but it's unclear whether he went through a document-by-document -document declassification process working with the relevant agency. While this article is over a month old, it is now very clear that he did not, because his uh, legal team has so far not produced evidence that the documents at Mar-a-Lago had been declassified. The three-judge panel of the appeals court noted in the Wednesday ruling his lawyers have resisted doing so in front of Special Master Raymond Deary, the U.S. District Judge who pressed the team this week to provide such evidence, the panel wrote. They have produced no evidence that he declassified anything. But he did it with his mind. I mean, this is why he's coming out now and saying, well, I did declassify. I thought about it. I, I thought this is declassified, and it was declassified. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> like, what reality are we living in? So a little more here. Can a president legally remove declassified information from the White House? So even if it was declassified, can he remove it? Well, no, according to security experts. There are other laws that protect the country's most sensitive secrets beyond how it is classified. For example, according to Aftergood, some of the intelligence and documents related to nuclear weapons can't be declassified by the president. Aftergood said such information is protected by a different law, the Atomic Energy Act. Another law, called Gathering, Transmitting, or Losing Defense Information, states it is illegal to remove documents related to national security from their proper place if it could risk the security of the country, no matter the classification level of the information. So, it's possible, because we don't know exactly what documents he has, but it's possible that even if they were declassified, he still was not supposed to take them. So, but to be clear, they were not declassified. But even if they were declassified with his mind and he actually managed to accomplish it, he went and then they were declassified. He still he still couldn't take them. 
Oh, God. All right, let's get to the next part of the clip here. This is where he randomly brings up Hillary Clinton. There's also a lot of speculation because of what they did, the severity of the FBI coming and raiding Mar-a-Lago. Were they looking for the Hillary Clinton emails that were deleted, but they are around someplace? Were they looking for the well, wait, spying on Trump? You're not saying Trump's? you had it. Did, did... No, no, they may be saying they no. may have thought that it was that in did. there. Okay. And a lot of people said the only thing that would give the kind of severity that they showed by actually coming in and raiding with many, many people is the Hillary Clinton deal, the Russia, Russia, Russia stuff, or, I mean, there are, there are a number of things, the spying on Trump's campaign. Okay, I'm going to get to you later on the... Again, the really ridiculous stuff I'm going to talk about. But, uh, like, this... First of all, let's let's just say, let's say uh, Hillary Clinton, Hunter Biden, whoever else, whatever Democrat, they're all, they're criminals, they're all guilty. They should also be dealt with. If there's something there, then they should also be dealt with. But, like, I, I don't understand how this is a... How any anyone on the right is using this as a defense. So, you hate Hillary so much, such a criminal... You bring her up as a way to equate her to Trump as so she's not a criminal now or they're both criminals. Like, <laughs> what's the defense here? In my mind, they both could be criminals. I don't whoever's an actual criminal should be dealt with in the criminal justice system. These, you know, high, incredibly wealthy, high power individuals are often not dealt with, often get away with breaking the law. Trump clearly is a example of that. There's currently, I think, like six investigations into him. I'll get to summarizing some of those shortly. But yeah, these people often get away. So holding them accountable is something to be celebrated, regardless of what political origin they're or <laughs> what political affiliation they have. Anyways, on the uh, so his his claims here. Oh, maybe they were there for Hillary's emails. Russia, Russia, Russia stuff, or for the spying on Trump's campaign as he speaks in the third person. What? <laughs> it's to me, he's almost projecting. I feel like he's maybe he took all this stuff thinking that something was going to be in there about Hillary's emails or the Russia, Russia, Russia stuff or the spying on his campaign. And that was a way for him to maybe later on find that information and then release it and be like, oh, look, here's the stuff about, or here, here's Hillary's emails. Like that's, cause he, this is purely made up. Like he, he says how a lot of people are saying this. No, nobody is saying this. you <laughs> just brought it up. You're making it a story. You're trying to make this into something. You're trying to, to deflect away from what, from your e uh, illegality and bring other topics into this that have nothing to do with it. So it, it's all just a complete distraction mechanism, obviously. But regardless, say again, if Hillary is guilty, then she should also be dealt with. Now, on um, the difference here between the two, because there is a massive difference. They often bring up how Hillary was treated, you know, with kid gloves compared to Trump. Hillary actually gave up the information that she was being asked to give. Trump did not. He held them, which is why eventually, months later, they finally had to raid, or not even raid, they finally had to go to his uh, estate at Mar-a-Lago, to get the documents back that he was not giving. So to compare here, as described in the Inspector General's report on the Clinton matter, the FBI obtained more than 30 devices from Clinton and her aides and received consent to search Clinton-related communications on most of these devices. Among those 30 devices were two of Clinton's three private email servers after the third server had been discarded years earlier, and thus the FBI was never able to access it for review. In Trump's case, the evidence at the center of the ongoing investigation was still being held at Mar-a-Lago, even after a federal grand jury subpoena three months earlier instructed that any and all documents Mars classified be turned over. So Hillary Clinton complied, Trump didn't. Major difference here. And on the investigations, quickly summarizing these, so uh, you have, of course, what we just talked about, the uh, classified documents at Mar-a-Lago. The January 6th investigations, the Georgia election interference case where Trump, you know, wanted uh, authorities there to find votes that didn't exist. The New York State civil case that I talked about yesterday, the lawsuit that was filed for his financial fraud 
and also the man the Manhattan criminal case. So lots <laughs> lots going on here. Often can be tough to keep track of, but let's end on something ridiculous. So this is now a lot of people online. A lot of people. Everyone's talking about this. Are bringing up um, this <laughs> this uh, interesting angle here on uh, Donald Trump. Many speculating, a lot of people saying, he may be wearing a diaper. Now, I don't think he is, but something's going on here. But, I, you know, I looked into this. This is very important. So I checked out Snopes because there have been other photographs of Trump, uh, you know, potentially hiding things in his ass. So <laughs> this is a Snopes article, all right? So they often, you know, try and find what the truth is in, in various... Uh, uh, facts or, you know, lies. So is this a genuine photograph of President Trump boarding Marine One? Well, mostly false, surprisingly. So you may have seen this and like thought, what the hell? <laughs> so this is my favorite though. This is why I decided to, to add this to the end of the video because this made me laugh and laugh and laugh. So this uh, photo is apparently doctored. They have here a GIF of the difference. Watch how it slowly grows. So somebody, some brilliant person actually went in and into Photoshop and just slightly enlarged it just enough to seem ridiculous while also appearing to be real. So, you know, they didn't go crazy. Just, just inflated it just enough <laughs> to get people to, uh, you know, stop and wonder what the hell's going on but anyways i apologize <laughs> for ending on that i just had to share that it was it was crazy but look uh i don't know what's going to come of this this it's taking these documents in my mind i'm sure we have to know what they are what he was doing with them but for me the jan 6 investigations are in my opinion the worst of what he has done 